Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing some butterfly French tips with these really nice um, colours here from Lavender Violets. Um, so let's get started. So first I've got these tips here that I'm using uh, Halos Elise which is my favourite colour for doing French. Um, so this is going to be our base for all of the nails. Now you can need like two, sometimes three coats, but because this is quite sheer, it doesn't wrinkle. Um, so you can do slightly thicker coats if you wanted to. Some clients don't like to see their natural nail underneath if they've got on extensions. That's going in the lamp. And we're going in now with the second coat. And then I've got the first one, D122, which is the nice yellow, onto the palette. And I'm going to take my Natalie Mugridge Detailer brush, load that brush, and we're going to start by doing um, quarter circles in each corner. I don't know if they're called quarter circles. I know if it's half a circle, you call it a semicircle. But what is it when it's when it's just a quarter? Is it just a quarter circle? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what it's called. <laughs> so yeah. These are, this is just the top of the wings for the butterflies. So we're filling in that negative space once we're happy with the placement of the uh, actual wing. And then we're going in with a nice pink. Next. And I'm going to do this with all the colours, so I'll just be quiet and let you watch because it's repetitive. Um, so yeah. And now we're going in with green. I mean, once you've got the um, 
the outline there. You can use the bigger brush to fill in the, the bigger space if you wanted to. I just like using the little one just because it feels like I'm doing some adult colouring. So now we're going in with the blue. And now we're going to go in for the second coat on the, all of these. Sorry, that's shot there slightly. Oh, I realised and pulled it back in. So next I'm taking my black because now I'm going to do the outlines of the wings. So I'm just popping some of that on my palette. And of 
course I'm using my Natalie Mugridge Detailer Brush again, uh, making sure that that brush is loaded nicely and evenly. And I'm going to start at the top and sort of like swirl it from the top and round. So it's got like a little point at the top of the wing. And then painting the first part of the wing with a line. And then I'm going to do two other lines going in the same direction. Sorry, my cats. Get out. I do keep pausing to look. That's because I'm looking at a picture to try and copy it. And then once you're happy with the placement, you can go in and, um, you know, mess about with it. Now, I don't, um, I thought I'd recorded doing all of the tips, all of the colours, doing this black part, but I didn't. So apologies if it gets cut short. Um, yeah, I didn't, but obviously you've got this one. And I think I've filmed the pink one, but I didn't film the last two. But it's the same process. For all of them so i don't suppose it really matters because it's repetitive but you'll see them all at the end anyway we're just putting a slight curve on those edges that's that one in the lamp and then we're just going to go in and tidy it up a bit and do the body and the head and there we go and then I'm going to pick up a little bit of gel and do his antennas and that's going in so like I said, yeah, I've got the pink one here. Um, I think I do a top coat, one or two of them as well in the video. Um, and then you'll see them all at the end. So I'll be quiet and let you watch this one. Then I'm just going to top coat this one now, guys. Um, so, yeah, you'll see me doing that. Um, if you did like this video, I'd be grateful if you'd let me know in the comments below. Obviously, like and subscribe. Um, I know this bit here is short and sweet, but you get the idea. I 
and here they all are finished. I hope you liked it. Please let me know if you did. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys. Bye.